I'm very excited to be opening for the very first time my copy of Stellar Cartography, the Starfleet Reference Library, maps from the Star Trek universe, um, compiled by Larry Nemechek. Uh, it's come in a really gorgeous package. Um, I can already tell that it's a high quality product just based on the, the box that it comes in. So this actually opens here. Okay, let's see what we have inside. Um, some more imagery and notes about the collection. And this opens up three ways. Okay, so this is the actual book. Um, and that's also a very nice quality, hardbound. of maps and the writings about the maps and about the various alien cultures um, by Larry. And there's also two side pockets here with more in them. Let's see what's in there. I see something cling on right away. Okay, there's a whole group of more maps, it looks like. And these fold out they look quite large actually. So here's um, an example of one of those maps. It looks like they're all similar but some of the different regions that we see in the book. So here's the Klingon Empire all in Klingon. Um, and again this is quite a high quality paper. This is something I could see if you let that sit out for a while and let the creases uh, fade. You could very nicely, very easily frame that in a really nice frame. It would look great on the wall. Um, it's printed on a really nice thick paper not something you find uh, extra in a magazine, but actually a, quite a nice product. This says the United Federation of Planets, but I also see some other alien writing on there. Position of the Romulan Star Empire. Okay, so this is a Romulan map, and that's just where the UFP is located. Um, this one's a little bit different. So this is the Romulan War map, um, so a more specific categorical map um, showing some of the key areas during the Romulan War and some really nice, really nice graphics on there. Um, we have a Cardassian map and another one that looks Quite interesting. It's a historical map of some kind. That's the history of the UFP, um, showing the different, some of the different quadrants, um, gamma, delta, alpha, and beta quadrant, all mapped out in this corner here. The different quadrants of our galaxies and then the zoomed in version. Again, some, some really nice graphics of some of the important planets. Andoria, Ice Planet, Vulcan, we know is the hot planet, Proxima, and a nice, nice image of uh, Earth on there as well. So now, these all fit nicely in this side pocket here. what maps. I've been dying to open this all day. I had to wait until I got the video camera going. But let's see what else we have in here. So some more maps. Ooh, this one's particularly nice. It's really different from all the others. Looks Vulcan maybe? Yes. It's really nice how each of the maps is stylized to the culture it's portraying. So that 
is a gorgeous map of the Vulcan system. Wow, that is really beautiful. I think the graphics artists have outdone themselves in this one. Really beautiful pieces in here. So this is, this <clears throat> map is titled Known Space. Um, looks like the Alpha and Beta quadrants. Although, hmm. I didn't realize the Klingon Empire is in the Beta quadrant. And the Federation <clears throat> has quite an extensive reach. Again, really nicely stylized and really just beautiful. There's not enough space in my apartment for all of these on the wall. But here's another one that looks like more of a military style map. And okay, this is the just the Alpha Quadrant map. So this is going to be more detailed. It even has star bases located on there. Um, important planets, important systems. And then the some of the regions are colorized based on which race owns them. We've got something else up in this upper quadrant. Again, this is kind of a context map, so it shows us this is where we're looking, just in the alpha quadrant in this map. There's even a scale. That's quite impressive. So there's a 15 light year scale, if you can see that scale bar right there. So that, and you have to know, if, if Larry Nemechek was behind this, he really did his research and he made sure that was accurate. So it'll be interesting to compare that with some of the mentions we hear in the various episodes of this system is so many light years from that system and see how accurate this map matches up. Here's another quadrant map, okay, the beta quadrant. We've got the Romulans and the Klingons. Wow, they have huge empires compared to the others. The Klingon Empire is really enormous. You really get the feel of that. Again, here's a context map for that. A really beautiful stylized, beautifully stylized various deep space stations. And this is the Cardassian Union map. So this is going to be another region-specific map. thing of beauty as well. Again, I really like how each of the cultures, each of the races, has their own style for each of their own maps. And something we don't see a lot of in the show is Cardassian writing. We do see a bit of that in Deep Space Nine, but it's one of those, I think most people are familiar with the Klingon writing and maybe with Vulcan as well, but Cardassian we don't see as often. It's actually quite an interesting looking language. So this is the Cardassian Union in total. Let's take a bit of a closer look here at the book itself. Let's go back in their pocket here. Trying to be very careful with these.
So again, here's the book itself. Just like the front cover, we've got this nice embossing on there. Um, really, attention to detail really shows in these. Um, and this, I, I couldn't help myself. I did have a quick look through the book earlier today. Um, and it is really completely gorgeous. Um, I'm very impressed by the artwork and by the detail in the stories behind all of the maps and all of the artwork. So some of these are the maps that we've seen already. Here's a beta quadrant map zoomed in a little bit. But wow, that's just... So here's the Cardassian map. So we got the... We have the sort of glossy book versions of what I've just shown you from the pockets. And then these really extensive histories of of the culture, of why the borders are the way they are, the interactions between the various people within that map. <clears throat> I think that one's got to be my favorite. It's the most unique, it's that Vulcan map. That's just gorgeous artwork. So this all fits very nicely into this display trifold case which is, again, just very, very gorgeous. Um, something that you would be proud to have either in a case with your collection or on your coffee table. Um, and I think those maps really should live their lives out in frames on a wall because they're, they're really nice. Um, a bit about the book on the back. A nice, good, sturdy material. Um, you can tell you get your money's worth with this product because everything in it is really, really high quality.